Welcome back to our channel. Now, before we get into today's topic of competing costs and budgets, please make sure to subscribe, like, and comment on this channel. Show us some love so we can keep bringing you more content that's going to help you further along in your competitive career. And thank you again so much for your support. And let's get into it. As always, if you would like to come work with me, suitsimposing.com is where you have to go. We do hair, makeup, suits, and posing, all the fun stuff when it comes to competing. Welcome, you guys. As I go through some of the things that I pointed out for budget and what you need to be prepared for, feel free to add your own two cents in and what you spent. Uh, maybe add something that I didn't think of, you know, that kind of thing. Um, I'm going to give you a budget end and I'm going to give you a top end. And probably most people come in between there somewhere. Uh, but this is going to kind of give you an idea of how little you're going to need or how much you're going to need in order to do a show. Okay. So there's going to be some, you know, obviously some caveats and everybody's going to do everything exactly like I've, I'm saying it, that kind of thing. But I, I kind of plotted out what a conservative prep would be like with all the things that you need and what a more aggressive, uh, don't really care about money kind of prep would be like, basically. Okay. So basically what I did is I typed out or didn't type, I wrote out. <laughs> I wrote out all the things that you're gonna have to spend money on, okay? So again, conservative end versus high end. Now, some of these things you may not personally have to do, that kind of thing, whatever, again, so take that into account. First and foremost, a coach. Some people are gonna try to prep themselves. So if you're gonna prep yourself, okay, that that's great. Some people can do that. The majority of people cannot, and the majority of people need a coach. Now, you can go very conservative with a coach, or you can go very high-end with a coach as well. So <clears throat> I'm giving you a number on both. On the low end, you're going to spend probably about 100 bucks a month on a coach, okay, on the low end. That's somebody that's going to take care of your diet and probably send you some training and things like that. Um, I can say when I, when I won my pro card, uh, I was working with a coach that just did my diet. I did all my training myself. <laughs> and um, I think I spent like $40 a month, but this was also like 10, 12 years ago or something like that. And all he did was my diet. That was it. My diet, my cardio, I did everything else. So in today's age, I'm saying you're going to spend at least about $100 a month on a coach. Okay. Um, on the top end of that, some coaches out there charge, you know, four or $500 a month. Um, you know, currently I, I'm on a uh, $350 a month plan for my particular coach. So you know, spending four or $500 on a coach each month is not unreasonable, right? It is, it is actually something that a lot of people do, and that's just for coaching, right? So when I added all these numbers up, I put this in as, okay, let's say on a conservative end with a coach at $100 a month, and you're doing it just for preps, we got four months, that's $400 right there, okay? It, on high end, and again, this is, this is actually not high end. I said a coach, a high end coach for six months, um, and so that ends up being $2,400 $2, if you're spending about $400 on your coach, right? So again, very big difference right there. Um, coaches can be very expensive um, or they can be not as expensive. If you, haven't, if you haven't have a good eye, if you know what you're doing, you know, and your trainer, that kind of thing, you might be able to get away with somebody just helping out with your diet, right? Um, but it's not abnormal to spend more than that, okay? Um, I also added an opposing coach. I do recommend everybody gets a posing coach. I don't recommend going off of YouTube. <laughs> you know, you can do that and it's free, but you're going to look like it was free. <laughs> you can tell the girls that show up on stage with free posing. Just saying, you can tell. So, <coughs> excuse me, I got um, So, I put a, a um, low end posing coach together. And I put a high-end posing coach together, okay? So let's say you just hire a posing coach and say it's a low-end posing coach, like they only charge you, say, 30 bucks for your posing sessions. You can find posing coaches that, that charge about that. Um, and say you do three sessions with them. There you go, it's 90 bucks right there. Okay, that's a low-end low uh, hiring a posing coach. High-end, um, I'm relatively expensive. I do tell people that right up front, but there are coaches that are much more expensive than I am when it comes to posing. So I went on the high end with the with the um, posing coach and saying, let's let's just say you're spending two hundred dollars a month on your posing coach, and say you hire your posing coach for six months too, just like you did with your your regular coach. So there's another twelve hundred dollars, right? 
Um, if you work with me and I do, I like I have backstage pass and that's like a hundred dollars a month and that gets you unlimited posing. So I have a lot of girls that do that, um, really budget friendly. And then you get to pose as much as you want. Um, so that's an option for you as well, but there are some posing coaches that they don't do that. They, you know, they only uh, charge per session, maybe you charge a hundred dollars a session, maybe do two sessions a month, that kind of thing. So then you're looking at $1,200 for posing, right? So again, high end. Um, and again, that's for six months. You know, if you were working with that coach longer, then you're going to spend more, right? Um, now, something that some people on a budget probably won't do is they won't hire an actual trainer in the gym, right? Some people do. Some people do hire a trainer in the gym. So I put that onto the high end. I put that onto the high end um, budget. So let's say you hire a trainer to actually train you in the gym and let's say that they charge you 60 bucks a session. You know, that, that's really kind of down the middle. Some, char some charge way more than that, you know, some charge less. Um, so I'm saying for your prep, let's say you do three sessions a week, um, you do train with them during your prep, that's 2160 for your, for your trainer in the gym, um, for, your, for your actual physical physical trainer in the gym, okay? Again, high end. On the budget end, you don't choose a, a trainer at all, so I'm just leaving that one off on the budget end, okay? Um, now all the knick-knack things that you need, like shoes, right? So you can get a pair of shoes for stage on Amazon for like 50 bucks, right? So let's say you get one pair, pair of stage shoes, $50, done, good to go. Most people, they're gonna spend more than that because they wanna go to like Shoe Fairy or something like that. And they're gonna get a couple of pairs of shoes because they wanna have backups. So let's just say on the low end, we're doing $100 for a pair of shoes uh, twice because you want a backup pair. So now you got $200 invested in shoes. Okay, that's high end, right? It's, you can come somewhere in the middle, but I actually do recommend that you get two pairs of shoes. I do recommend that you get two of everything. Um, maybe get a really high end pair and then get a budget pair or something like that. You know, that's always an option as well, um, or on Amazon or something, you know, just so you have a backup in case your heel breaks, or strap breaks, or something like that. You want to have a backup pair of shoes. You don't want to go to show with one pair of shoes, okay? I've had several girls where their shoes have fallen apart the day of the show, so make sure you bring shoes. Um, suit. On the low end, you're probably going to spend about $500 on your, on your suit, um, you can get cheaper ones than that, but typically when they're cheaper than that, they look like they're cheaper than that. Um, uh, 500 is really kind of the baseline, uh, when it comes to your suit cost. Um, mind it. Yep. Jamaica's shoes broke. That's right. They did. They broke show day. Um, so on the low end, you're going to spend about $500 on your suit. So if you get one suit on your budget, that's 500 bucks for your suit. Okay. Now, again, I recommend you have more than one suit. It's never a good idea to go to a show with one suit. You need to go with two because you never know. Things can happen. Your body can change. Stuff can break. All those kinds of things. So have a backup. On the upper end of suits, um, I actually put kind of a $1,200 price point on there for upper end of suits. But suits do run more expensive than that. So this is actually even a budget there. So let's just say you did two really high-end suits that are $1,200 a piece. So now you've got $2,400 worth of suits for a show. See how it's adding up real quick. <laughs> See how it's get, getting up there real quick. Um, what I actually recommend you do is I recommend you get a really good suit, one really good one, and then have like a budget one as your backup. You know, always have a backup. Don't go just, just like I said with the shoes. Don't go with one suit. Don't do that. <laughs> um, jewelry. Now you can go to Claire's and stuff like that and get some cheap ass jewelry for like 50 bucks. You know what I mean? But most people are not going to do that. Most people are going to spend more. So again, I, I kind of put as a, as a roundabout number for jewelry, a hundred dollars for jewelry. And you want a couple of sets again, backups. So $200 worth of jewelry for a stage. Okay. You're going to want to have choices. You're going to want to have backups, you know, bracelets break, earrings break, you lose the back, all those kinds of things. Have a backup. You see a theme here. <laughs> you see a theme here. Um, what else? Tan. You can DIY your tan. It's still gonna, it's still gonna cost you a decent amount to DIY your tan, but I said, you know, on average, if you're gonna DIY, you're gonna spend about 50 bucks. You're actually probably gonna spend more than that because you gotta get the bronze or you gotta get skin prep, all that kind of stuff, but I still gave it a, 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 you know, low end on the budget kind of thing. 
um, I've been wearing the same suit for two years. It worked for me, my highest placing at nationals in this suit. Yeah, but I'm guessing you probably have a backup as well, right? And I'm totally okay with that too. You can ask some of the girls, like uh, one of my girls, Jasmine, she won her pro card in uh, her first suit that I ever did for her. And then she ended up using it all last year. Um, so she, she has like, what, she's got one, two, three, four, five. I think she's got five suits from me now, five or six. Um, and that green suit, she wore the, wore, wore it till the brakes fell, fell off. <laughs> She wore it. She wore it like crazy. Um, oh yeah, the two backups. Yes, definitely want to have a backup. Absolutely, hundred percent. See, there you go. And th yeah, once you find one that works, then you're good. We're talking about first time show. You got to have at least two suits, right? Um, so tan. If you're gonna DIY, then um, you know, again, you're gonna probably spend at least about fifty dollars on your DIY, right? If you're gonna get sprayed by the tanners at the show, you're gonna probably spend about 150 bucks. So that's on the high end. Um, honestly, if you're gonna DIY your, your your tan, you're probably gonna spend more than $50, like I said, but I put that in there as a low ball. You might be able to share with some people or something, that kind of thing, low ball. So, but yeah, if you're getting sprayed, it's gonna be about 150 bucks, okay? Um, let's see, you gotta buy, gotta buy your MPC card, right? So that is a non-negotiable. It's $135 for your NPC card. So that goes on both sides. You get you have to buy that in order to compete. Um, and then your entry fees. Now, depending on the show, the entry fees can be a little bit different. So I put like a down the middle $100 entry fee. Um, if you're just doing one class, that's your budget. You got $100, you got one class. Most people are not going to do just one class. They're going to do two or three. So on average, I put three classes down. So again, you got $300 and just entry fees for three classes at a local show. Now, again, if you're doing a local show on a budget, maybe stay at home. So you don't need hotel, you don't need travel, all that. So that you can cut all that out. If you're doing a local show, you're good to go. Um, if you are traveling anywhere, you're going to have to get your flight, which I put that down on average about 350 bucks for your flight. Um, hotel on average about $200 a night. You're going to stay probably three nights. Okay, so we're looking at $600 for your hotel. Um, and then like little things that you can't account for in that, like taking time off, ta taking time off from work. Well, that's something too. You have to account for that. If you're going to a show for, and you're going off for three days, you're going to have to take off from work. So that's going to be a lot less income those three days, right? Um, and then lastly, I have your makeup and hair. So if you're going to do it yourself, you're probably going to spend about $100 to $150 on just the makeup itself. The foundations, they're completely different than what you're going to wear just every day. So I said if you're doing it yourself for your makeup, I said about $100. $100. I put that down as your budget um, a solution. If you're getting it done by the professionals, then I said on average, you're going to be spending about $150 per service. So $150 for your makeup. $150 for your hair, give or take, okay? Could be more, could be less, right? Um, I'm so scared of doing my own tan. Yeah, a lot of people are, including myself. <laughs> We've talked about that before. I do have that on my YouTube channel. If anybody wants to go look at my YouTube channel about tanning tips, I do have that up there, so you can go check that out. So, putting all of these things together, right? On the budget end, if I add all those things up, if you're doing this on a budget, this is a shoestring budget, like you are gl like gluing things together yourself, you're spending about $1,500 on a show, one show, okay? If you're going top end and you're doing all the things that I just mentioned and you're hiring a coach and a trainer and all this kind of stuff, $10,260 for one show. <laughs> one! One local show. <laughs> it's super easy with pro tan, makeup and tan. I prefer to let professionals take care of me. It's less stressful for me. Yeah, everybody's got their thing, you know? Like, for me, I like to do my own makeup, but I don't like to do my own hair because I can't see the back of my head. So that stresses me out. I get my hair blown out for shows. That's what I do. Um, but yeah, when we're looking at, and I'll, I, I will edit this, and I'll put all this together onto, onto YouTube so that you can go back and watch it. But... Numbers don't lie, you guys. Numbers don't lie. Right? Thank you, Summaries. Self kit is so easy. They also is very helpful. They helped me on IG the night before with questions. There you go. Don't remind us, right? Yeah. 
But I wanted to give you this this idea. Like, I'm not saying you have to go out there and spend ten thousand dollars in order to do a show. That's not what I'm saying. But what I am saying is that some people are doing that. Some people are doing that. And understand that every time you add something on, it gets more expensive. It gets more expensive every time. You know, fifteen hundred dollars is still an investment. It's still an investment. And that's on the low end budget, right? LOL, if going to spend that money, make sure you're giving all, giving your all during. Absolutely. That's the point right there. Like, if you're going out there, and when you start really adding up what you're spending, to shortchange yourself during your prep just doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense at all, right? You are losing a lot of money if you don't put, it, put your all into this, <laughs> right? Smack my head and don't try to go watch all the shows in person, right? Yes. Plus all the food, supplements, shampoo, drink, but yeah. And those all those things you're gonna buy anyway. That's why I didn't add that stuff in there. You're gonna you're gonna feed yourself regardless. You know what I mean? You're probably gonna take vitamins and stuff regardless. You know, there's probably a few things that you take extra when you get into prep, whatever, but you're still gonna do that. That's why I didn't that's why I didn't add those in. Um preach. Yeah, right? Yeah, it's 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 not cheap and then you start thinking about traveling and going to national shows these national shows the entry fees are 300 dollars just for one class it gets really expensive it gets really expensive another reason to buy your packages when on sale yes exactly for those of you that are new here <laughs> that's why i do the packages that i do it's a turnkey package where you can get everything that you need and you get it high end on a budget you know, for when you've got champagne taste on a box wine budget. <laughs> yes, Karen. Yes, I know. Insane. Yeah, it's insane. It's insane. So when you get into the sport, you have to remember that you are going to have to spend money in order to look your best. It's just, I try to tell people, it's just like pageants. You know, these pageant girls spend a ton of money on their gowns and makeup artists and all this kind of stuff. Same thing. They hire trainers too. Same thing. I have girls that do like train for horses, um, that show horses, same thing. It's super expensive when you're getting into stuff like this. It's pageantry. So you gotta be ready for it. You gotta be ready. And you can do it smart. You can do it budget wise. You can take advantage of like the sales and stuff that I do. A lot of girls do that and it helps a lot, you know, but just be prepared for this stuff so it doesn't catch you off guard. Cause that can be really stressful. We talked about this a little bit last night in last night's live feed where if you're not prepared for the budget that you need to have, that can add a whole level of stress on top of you when you're prepping for a show, right? Huge savings, thank you, Sean, yes. Posing included, absolutely, yep, yep. And again, that's why we do stuff like the backstage pass because then you know it does give you that option of having it all inclusive um, and then you don't feel like you have to break the bank in order to get what you need right? Did I miss anything in these expenses that I didn't mention? Let alone if you bring like your significant other with you or you bring your coach with you, there's an added expense too. A lot of people fly their coaches in to the shows. Uh, a lot of people bring their husbands, wives, that kind of thing to the shows. That's expensive too. And then go earn your pro performer promise. Yep. Yep. So those of you that missed my reel today, we had all of our uh, Pro Performer Promise winners on that reel from this year. Every year we add a handful more. This year is our was our biggest year yet as far as how many we actually added, which is huge, you guys. The NPC, as far as numbers is concerned, is exploding. It's getting huge, which makes it even more difficult to win a Pro Card. So the fact that we earned as many Pro Cards as we did this year and Olympia qualifications, oof, I'm super proud, super proud. You know, you guys are my walking testimony. <laughs> you know, you you prove that I know what I'm doing. <laughs> so I love that. <laughs> you know, nothing speaks louder than results. Nothing speaks louder than results, you guys. So we had some really good results this year. I don't have to say anything. It, the proof is there. Proof is in the pudding, as they say, right? So... You know, I don't say any of this to scare you from going into this, into uh, competing and things like that. I just do it so that you're prepared. I would rather you know up front what you're getting yourself into than you get halfway in and realize you have all these expenses that you didn't know were coming. You know? 
And it doesn't get any cheaper when you get to the pro league. It actually gets more expensive. Because now you're up against pros where they don't skimp. They don't skimp on anything. And if you think you're going to win your pro card and automatically be handed a bunch of sponsorships to take care of everything, you're sadly mistaken. It doesn't happen like that. You got to earn those sponsorships. Right? You got to earn that. And as a pro... You're still spending money on your um, IPB Pro Card every year, your membership. Still got to buy that. And you probably are going to have to travel to every single show. It's very rare that you're going to find a show that's local that you can sleep in your own bed. Not going to happen. So make sure that you're prepared for that. Don't think that as soon as you get that Pro Card, everything's going to be the gravy train because it doesn't work like that. Doesn't work that, like that at all. If anything, it gets more expensive. So um, we got more uh, prizes in today, more stuff that you get in today. So uh, every day we're getting more stuff in. My studio is very quickly becoming overrun with boxes. <laughs> yeah, it's all part of it. Um, and with that, I hope you guys are all staying healthy, staying safe. Um, my congestion needs to go away and then I'll be happy. <laughs> <laughs> Competing is an ongoing expensive hobby. You can't go into, into it thinking you're going to be a famous sponsored fitness model after just one show or a handful for that matter. Nope, absolutely not. I need to learn about the backstage pass, details on your site. So yeah, if you take a look, um, I heard unlimited and my ears perked up, right? Um, so yeah, that's um, that's a long thing to get into on a live. But yeah, there it's um, actually on our uh, 12 Deals of Christmas is one of the options on there if you want to take a look at that. And if you have any questions on it, go ahead and ask um, in Cutie Care, and then we can get you any questions answered that you need. Okay? Yeah, it's, it, it could be something that, that could be beneficial. For sure. For sure. All right, guys. Well, I hope you all, again, have had a great week. I'm going to let you all go, and I'm going to need to work over here. Got some posing critiques to, to send out tonight myself. And we're almost to the new year, almost to the new year. So if you haven't taken a look at those 12 Deals of Christmas yet, please do, because they're still open and available until the end of the year. Um, lots of fun stuff in there. And there's a link in my dropdown on my, on my uh, bio here for you. Okay. Thank you guys again for joining us. And before you go anywhere, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and like, comment, and turn on notifications to see more content from us. Thank you again so much. And we'll see you next time.